Do you have a job? Now, I ask that question because I pretty much expect the answer to be yes. Most of the people of the planet, I think it's 80 or 90% camera person, did you know this, have a job? No, I didn't know that. Thank you, Dr. Are, K. Are you amazed at this amazing factoid? I'm, I'm absolutely astounded. Okay, well, did you know that job is an acronym? Camera person. Uh, no, I didn't. Right, what's an acronym? Oh, it's something that stands for something. Right, so job stands for... Just over broke. Just over I knew that, I broke. knew that. And the reason I'm saying that is now I know that some people watching this have a job and they're earning, you know, $10,000 a month or $6,000 a month, but at what price? How many hours a week do you have to work to get that paycheck and what impact is it having on your family if you have a family? So, and will you become a multi-millionaire being an employee? The answer is probably no. Now, I realize that there are some corporate high flyers who worked in the company for 40 years and they can end up millionaires, but generally speaking, you're trading your life for a paycheck. Now, if you love your job and you're really cool with your job, this video isn't for you. And I know some people really do love their jobs. And if you do love your job, good on you. But a lot of people are getting to the stage where technology has made work more oppressive. What do you think of that camera person? Because we remember, we were told in the 1970s and the 1960s, 1970s, 1980s, that all this technology was going to create a leisure society. We're all going to be lying on our backs for like 30 hours a week. But in fact, the opposite is the, is the case. And most people I know who have proper jobs are worked off their feet, like you, camera person. I am, I'm very, very, very stressed, very worked off my feet, yes. <laughs> You sound Absolutely, like it. Absolutely, yes. That's why you're taking all that red ball. <laughs> Absolutely, yes. So, are you stressed and are you working off your feet? Now that we've got no problem with a work ethic, it's great to have a good work ethic, but who is getting the fruits of your soul effort? Now, we're musicians and artists on this channel and we've got a bit of soul, are you selling your soul to the company? And if the company downsizes and if it, it, it re-evaluates its employment contracts, if you're fired, what are you left with? Not very much. So I want to suggest to everybody watching this channel, and if you have a job and you're a musician, you're into music, that you might want to consider the fact that in this world that we're in at the moment, that's going through constant change, there might be other options open for you. And I've mentioned this book before. It's a great book. It's called Free Range Human. Can you get that in, camera person? Be a free range human as opposed to a career cage. Sounds like an egg. It's like, like, yeah, you're, you know you've got these free-range chickens that run around and you've got the caged chickens, the farm factory chickens. Do you know what I'm talking about, camera? Of course bird? I do, yeah. Right, well, likewise, you know you've got the caged worker who has to go in, sit at the same desk every day. Now I know some jobs you can jet off everywhere and blah, blah. But generally speaking, if you work in an office or work in a school or work in a factory or work in... You tend to go to the same place every day. It's a bit of a cage. And Marion Cantwell, who is an Australian woman, you type her into to, to, to the internet and you'll find her. She wrote this book, she had a high-flying career in London, I think she worked for Disney, the Disney Corporation in London, and she worked to the top of the corporate ladder, and after 20 years of being in this stifling job, even though she was earning a lot of money, she decided she had had enough, and she went out and did her own thing, and she wrote this book as a result of her experiences about escaping the nine to five create a life you love and still pay the bills. And I think one of the great benefits of this book is it gets you out of the employee mindset. And the employee mindset is I've got a bills to pay, I've got a mortgage to pay, I've got a family to keep and I need to stay in this job in order to keep the mortgage going to pay the bills even though I don't like my job or I hate my job. Now, of course, some people like their job, as we said, and that's no problem. But if you don't like your job and you're doing it for a paycheck, I suggest that you go out and buy this book. And there's a number of books like this. I've got another one here, which is also interesting. It's called Screw Work, Let's Play. How to do what you love and get paid for it. And this is by John Williams. He's a British guy. This is also a signed copy. It was signed when I bought it. Um, and it's also about the concept that in the era we're living in, being an employee is a kind of leftover from the industrial age. We're moving out of the industrial age into a new 
era where it's kind of like anything goes and the idea of having a job for 40 years is quite passe so if you're a Dr. K subscriber, you're a musician at heart and you're in a job that you're not quite happy with because it's taking up too much of your valuable time in exchange for a paycheck, get screw work, let's play, get be a free range human and explore the possibility of making your way in this world without selling your soul for a monthly paycheck. This is Dr. K with the revolutionary message on being a free range human and I will talk to you soon. soon.